second and congratulations, you just purchased the Mila Blizzard CX-1 Turbo Team Canister Vacuum Cleaner. So this vacuum cleaner is the bagless canister. So I'm gonna walk you through the ins and outs of your machine, what you should have gotten with your machine, and then how to use all of the components that are included. So I want you guys to just um, open your box, take everything out, put it on a flat surface, and make sure that you have everything that is on this table. So you should have your canister body, your wand, your carpeting attachment, your hard flooring attachment, and your hose and your handle. And then you're also gonna have these two cleaning attachments. And I'll show you where those go. And then you should have two manuals. One is gonna be for the actual canister portion, and the other one is gonna be for your um, carpeting attachment. So why don't you guys just take a quick second, make sure you have everything that you see here on this table, and then I am gonna show you how to use everything. Okay, so now that you've verified that everything is on uh, that's on this table you have, um, if you don't have something, if something here is shown that you don't have, please reach out to us. Um, you can reach out to us via a phone call, an email, or a live chat on our website. We just wanna make sure you guys have everything that's here on this table. So this is your canister body. This is your wand, your telescoping wand. This is your carpeting attachment. And it does have a spinning brush roll on the underside of it. This is your hard flooring attachment. This is your crevice tool. This is your upholstery tool. And this is your hose, which is also attached to your handle. So I'm gonna go through a little bit of um, each in depth of everything that's here. So this is your telescoping wand and how it telescopes is you're gonna have this sleeve right here. If you squeeze it, you can pull it out. This is gonna be great for if you're trying to clean the tops of crown molding or spider webs, cobwebs, or if you need to get under furniture. This is a really nice feature with all of the Mila wands. So this is your telescoping wand. This is your carpeting attachment. It does have a spinning brush roll. It is air driven, so there's no electrical components. And um, it's very easy to be cleaned. Um, you can just take a blade. You can see if you're looking at it, there's a small little indentation on the bottom. And it's perfect if you run like a little razor blade or um, a, a scissors across the end and you can get um, any hair. Like I have long hair, so <laughs> that's kind of important to me. And then um, you're gonna see this dial on the carpeting attachment. And that is to let out any suction or airflow. So if you want to decrease your suction without decreasing your suction on your vacuum cleaner, you can do so. It's a nice little feature. It's really good if you have a rug um, that has tassels on the end of it. So those are all hard to clean. And then this is your hard flooring attachment. It does have bristles of varied lengths on the underside of it. So this is great. You are just going to dust, vacuum and dust your floor at the same time. Never going to have to sleep again. It's really awesome. And then this is your hose handle and you're, it's, it's already attached, so you're not gonna have to attach it. But on your handle, I want you to notice that there is a dusting brush included. So you are going to just press this little, there's a little button here, and you're gonna press it and push away from you. And this is gonna be how you use your dusting brush. So this will be for you know cracks and crevices, um, delicate furniture it's really good on, any baseboards or crown molding. And then to release it, you just push it the opposite way. There we go. It's all a pressure thing. I found if you push it to the left and back, it works. I don't know if that's just my fingers, but we'll go with that. Okay, so these two cleaning attachments, your crevice tool and your upholstery tool, are actually stored on the body of your canister, and I'm gonna show you where those are stored. But actually, first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through these buttons on your machine. So this button that has a circle and a line through it is your power button, so that's gonna be how you're gonna turn your vacuum on. And then this um, button that has a cord with a circle, that is to um, get your cord all the way back into the machine. So you don't have to ever wind a cord, just retracts into the body of your canister, which is a really nice feature. And then this is um, their, the Mila bagless model. And so it has four suction settings. You have a minimum suction setting, which will be all the way to the left. So that would be for any delicate furniture, delicate carpeting, um, drapery. And then you're gonna have a rug. So if you have like area rugs, um, that's a really good setting. Um, then you're gonna have a carpet setting. And then finally, it's gonna look like a parquet floor. 
I found that if you just leave your vacuum on maximum suction, that should be the only suction setting you ever really need, unless you're doing specialty cleaning, like unless you have a delicate area rug or if you're doing drapery. So I always recommend that you leave your um, suction setting all the way to the right. So that's what I have this one on. And then there's also this little clean button and that is like an ultra crazy suction setting that will actually suck out the debris from your filter, which is kind of exciting. And I'll show you how it does that. So this bagless machine, let me just move this over. How you are going to clean your filters, and I'll show you where they are, is you are going to pull up on this little handle and pull it out. And then this is your dust bin. So this is where all the debris that you are cleaning out of your home is gonna be stored in. And to release that, you're gonna push this button and it's going to just empty straight into your trash can. So if you um, look right here, there's another little lever. This is another filter. And this is very easy to be washed out. So you can just rinse this in warm water as this and just make sure you thoroughly drive it, dry it um, because that is going to keep the lifespan of your motor lasting a lot longer than um, if you didn't clean it. So you should be cleaning all of these components that I'm showing you at least once a month because that is just gonna prolong the lifespan of your vacuum cleaner. So inside there is another, it's like a cylindrical, like a round little thing and I'll show you. And you're gonna pull it towards the vacuum. And this is your HEPA filter. So to open this there, um, if you're looking at the top of this, um, you can just twist it and open. So you can also rinse this out and rinse this out. Please make sure you let everything thoroughly dry. They say at least 24 hours before you try to put this back in your vacuum. Um, the reason being is any moisture is gonna kill your motor. So to get it back in, you just kind of tilt it like this. And I know that probably is not the best description, but I promise if you're looking at your vacuum, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then I'll show you where to put these little attachments. So this is your crevice tool and this slides over here on this side. And this is your upholstery tool. And this goes in right here. Oh, wrong way. There we go. And then to get your um, dustbin back on your canister, you're just gonna slide it in, push it down. There we go. So I always like to show people where your serial number is because <laughs> you're gonna wanna register your machine with Mila. And then if you have any warranty aspects that you need to take care of in the future, I promise having a serial number is so much more helpful than trying to guess. So there's a silver sticker on the bottom of your machine. It's got the serial number is gonna start with zero, zero slash and then a nine digit number, that's your serial number. It also is gonna have your model number as well. And then the name of your Mila is going to be printed below the Mila logo. So it's always really nice to know what vacuum you have, what your model number is, and then also where to find your serial number. I promise this will be helpful in the future. If you ever need to replace your filter or replace a component, it's a lot easier to know exactly what you have. So now I'm gonna show you how to set this thing up. So. If you lay this down, I think this is a good angle. So we're gonna connect your hose and there's really only one way you can connect your hose. Um, this side is gonna go into right here on your canister. And you're gonna hear a little clicking sound. And then now you can attach any cleaning attachments to the base of your wand or to the base of your handle or you can attach them to the end of your wand. So if you wanted to take your upholstery tool or your dusting brush or your crevice tool, you can use it um, right here. It's a really nice feature. Or if you need a little bit of extra length or you wanna clean your flooring, not on your hands and knees, um, you can attach your wand and then your wand telescopes like that. And then you can attach your flooring attachments. So this is the parquet flooring attachment that you that comes with your model. So it has the nice little bristles and this will be for any and all hard flooring. I do wanna show you that you've all been there, you're vacuuming and the phone rings and you don't wanna to have to turn your vacuum off. You can slide your cleaning attachment there or there's a reservoir on the backside of your canister and you can put it there. So that's always a really nice feature. And then any attachments you can also attach to 
your handle, which is nice because if you have stairs or cars, um, that's a nice feature to use as well. I usually, when I clean my cars, I just take off the wand because I don't need the added length and I just use it with the handle and then like the dusting brush and the crevice tool, which is really nice. So this is everything that your Mila came with. If you have any further questions on this model, we are here and happy to help. We have live US-based customer service support and we're always happy and help um, to answer any questions. You can live chat us on our website, you can email us or you can call us on the phone. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and happy vacuuming.